I'll take you for a ride on the devil ship I'll take you for a ride where you sink or swim Now come with me and let this story begin Wait, what are you doing? This is not live. No. Uh, what am I doing? Nothing. It's uh, for doodling uh, if uh, nerves, ticks. Interesting. Your friend, the Iron Sheik, died. I, there's only one thing I can say to that. Ah! <laughs> I've been doing that for 24 hours. <laughs> are you really, you hate, you, I forgot that you don't like Iranians. No, no, no. I love the Persians, the Persians. Uh, yeah, Iron Sheik. <laughs> I know yeah. every, everybody talking about this Iron Sheik. He died yesterday. Number one dying yesterday in the world. Hulk Hogan fucking faggot. He had a bit of an Israeli <laughs> accent there. I don't yeah, know what you were he, going for. He was, he was, is this Israeli? I don't know. I don't know. The uh, the, uh, the the Zohan, he doesn't have the Zohan accent. The way you talk there is kind of like... Uh, <laughs> Avi. Avi. <laughs> Jerome. I it, was watching a show on Netflix... Uh, with a bunch of um, Hasidic uh, people in the Netherlands. Ooh, there, it was like it's like a mobster show, but uh, with Jews. Okay, now speaking of accents, even the Hasidic in the diamond district. Well, look now, now you brought in another level. Even the like the 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 Hasidics here on Park Avenue speak like the ones in New York. Their accent, they speak with that new they that that English accent. <clears throat> And uh, in fact, Adam Sandler nailed that accent. In uh, of course, he's Jewish. No, but he's New Hampshire. He sounds more like yeah. But he knows, like me, when 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 I I make a Greek accent from Greek, yes, or when yes, I yes. notice right away, you know. You I guess no, but what I mean is his Zohan smell accent. Smell our own. His Zohan accent and his uncut gems accent are different. Are different. Of course, he put in Russian sheep's head bay in there a little bit. Let me tell you, sheep's head bay. <laughs> Did you see Poseidon? I saw a video on Twitter this morning. Uh, the president of France, Mr. Macron, he was denouncing a uh, Syrian refugee. There's a video going right now. It just happened a few hours ago. Uh, Let me open up Twitter. This 30, I think he's 31 too. The guy is fucking young. He Macron, took a knife. Yeah. Oh, no, the kid. Just went into a park and started stabbing toddlers, people, oh, everybody. Oh, that's, that, is, that is fucking... Uh, on the uh, uh, intellectuals, we have the devil character. That yeah, is evil that's the devil. devil shit. Yeah. That is. That's like you with the wife. You, you're there with the kid in the no, park. No, 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 no. And he's standing everyone. Don't, don't, dude, you're gonna make me shit my pants. I don't. It's awful. I get it. I get it. Trust me, I get it. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, yes, Opa. yes. <laughs> I I heard that. Apparently, there's gonna be a lot of Mel Gibson news. That's what Poseidon was just talking. We'll get to that in a second. Let's deal yeah. with France but first. Yeah, that's fucking weird. So yeah, Macron was speaking. Macron, uh, Macron. I type in, uh, there's a video of it. No, not Macron. Type in France stabbing, bro. Oh, uh, dude, I'm. Sh why Jesus is that not top, top of the world? It is. It was, that's it's, how I saw it. It was oh, on my feed. That is so There fun. it is. Syrian refugees screaming in the name of Jesus Christ. Stabs a child in their... Um, oh my God, man! Don't 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 show me that. That's actually a smart jihadist move. Well, no, to I name tell someone you, else. Yeah, yeah but like, you know where my yeah, the name of Scientology. You know where my mind went. Four kids aged twenty two months to three, including I got the British inst girl, are knifed while holidaying at French resort. The four cops okay. shoot and arrest him. I like okay. that they shot him before they arrested him. Oh, there's a video. Hold on. No way! What the hell? I'm, don't show me a fucking video. Do you want to? Do you guys want to yep. watch? Well, let me see first because I, I I didn't watch the video, so let me see if it's if it's if it's safe. Uh, but I don't you wanna, look away. You look away. I don't want to look at this. I don't want to hear it. Oh, it's just him running. He's trying to oh chase a toddler. Oh my god! Oh, this is, oh, it's adult with a bag. He's trying to stab him in the leg. Okay, that, no, no, it's it's fine so far. Yeah, he's okay, just now, acting frantic. Let's let's analyze this for a second. Uh, um, um. Oh, 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 no, no, hold on. He's going to a jungle jungle. Oh, man, look. Oh, he's going to a lady. <sighs> oh, but he, it's, it's. No. He doesn't even know how to stab. He's trying uh, to say oh, this. Yeah. This man is a terrible stabber. Yeah. Okay, this is. He's this. like stabbing, like, not even stabbing. He's like scratching legs. He's very bad at this. He's very bad at this. It looks like one of those prank videos. Oh, Look at how he jumped, okay, bro. Somebody okay. he needs looks, to lace him. Like, in. Okay, you made me. I thought yeah, you guys were showing how instead of stabbing. Him in I the thought, face. Yeah. You know why? Because he's sauntering. Bro, the French need to stop being such pussies. Bro. You no, got to no, take this guy out. He's sauntering. He looks like Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. You Ooh, know what could have yeah. prevented he this? Looks, he looks like Macho Man. Ooh, you know who in the name of Jesus. No, uh, but you know why? You it, know who could have prevented this? He's not doing it. Looks like Andrew Tate. Somebody with a gun. 
He's not yeah. doing it aggressively. Somebody with a gun could have. What do you mean? How do you stab non-aggressively or scratch? No. Okay. Look, look at how seen, he's sauntering. Oh my I mean. god! Just kill him. You've seen people upset. I would have torn his head off. Yeah. You've seen me upset. How you is my killed body him. language? You would have killed him upset. Yeah. Okay. So this guy is sauntering. That's why he's not posing a threat. Well, he did scratch a lot of people. Poseidon was right when he said a gun could have stopped that quickly. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. America. Fuck yeah. America. Um, oh, that's awful. See that picture? Yeah. That's what I mean about, let's analyze this for a second. Yeah. So uh, clearly uh, the guy's says, insane. But it said he's stabbing in the name of Jesus Christ. No, he was yelling in the name of Jesus. It, it, but that's a he, But that's it. He's doing it in what way? Why is he saying that? In the name why, of Jesus? And why not Because then Allah? you can't, you, yeah, well, because then you can't say it's a Islamic extremist. It's smart. She's smart. smart. Move. She's smart. This is smart. Right here. This is Poseidon just showing us an LSU gymnast. She is... Spread her legs. Fantastic. Look at that. Of course you smile like that. Wow. All right, Poseidon, I, I like TikTok. your TikTok. TikTok. I get it. Is so that happened. Oh, she's from Sweden. They uh, they have they use snooze. It's at LSU. What? It's at LSU. This is a bit Sweden accent. Not, not, not Arabic. Snooze. Do you know snooze? That's Sweden. Do you know snooze? Listen, before I kill you. Yes, <laughs> snooze is, uh, is uh, what they call chewing tobacco in Sweden. It's a little pouch of tobacco that you put in your, your gum like this. Because I went to school with a lot of Swedes um, in New York. They were nice people. The Swedes? Swedes are nice people. Beautiful. Oh, Raquel Varmlander. Zlatan uh, Ibrahimovic retired this week. It was very emotional when he was in oh, Italy shit. announcing that that was uh, off the bench. Off the bench. What I saw about Italy is there's uh, rain and Emilia Romagna is just in a flood. So I heard that people are, are very angry with Canada because of these forest fires. Yeah. Is that what that is outside? It is kind of funny that we're pretty much fine, but New York, which is further. <laughs> They're all it's complaining like, about it's it. It's all right. It's crazy. It's Canada's fault. Yeah. It's not Canada's fault. I saw. No all right. Follow yeah. the science. It's the arsonist's fault. <laughs> Find the arsonists. <laughs> Guns don't kill people. I do. Mm. Forest fires don't get made. I'll make them. Yeah. Um, um, he, uh, he, yeah, Calgary. Wait a second. So if Calgary is on fire and uh, Settle and Quebec is on fire, what's going to happen by the time uh, Los Angeles uh, fire starts to happen? Isn't that in August or something? Hold on. You know what? I'm going to message. What does DiCaprio say about this? Poseidon. He's saying um, he's taking a press conference from his jet. Oh, uh, speaking of jets, rich people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Aren't rich people great? We flew on a private jet. Yeah, I remember you guys. <laughs> and uh, because, uh, because of Mike. Yeah, because Mike. I just realized something. That's why I, said I threw a message. Because uh, yeah. Tom Green has a like a farm. Like he has. His own, that's where he lives. He lives on a farm. Like up in Ontario. I'd, I'd love. So to I just live texted on a farm. just to see if uh, like is it affecting him? I just asked. All known. I Does doubt he it. Notice, like the the are the animals acting in different? Yeah, yeah. Or is it smoggy and stuff? Because maybe the way he is further out east. Because what shocked me is that here right now it left for the most part Montreal the island, but New York, which is so much further. Oh, it, but it's it, rained. It, it's rained. I no, no. I'm just saying New York is, yeah. is is eating it. Well, we're not, and we're closer. So that's why I was just wondering. No, if it's in right now because the last few days, the, la the last day, uh, it's been raining. That cleared it up. Think us. So? Yes, yes, because that's what happens uh, in in LA or whatever when it when it New rains. York. It looked like um, Poseidon. If you want to bring up some photos of what's it happening, looked like in New York? Blade Runner. Bro. It looked like Blade Runner. Yeah, it's it's weird. The new Blade Runner because the cloud moved. It left. It looked like a movie in India. You know how that filter is when they show movies in India. It's that uh, desert brown. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That yeah. is that filter. It's like an Indian action yeah, filter. Sure Look at so. that. Yeah, you. you DOP. Wild. That the, is beautiful. Though. Director of photography is an underrated. Uh, uh, it's a profession. Phil is the one who taught me that the director yeah. of photography so is important. the most important. Yeah, people don't, because I've yeah. been on... Uh, All the stuff the DOP does, yeah. I thought a director did. Yes. Phil's the one who no, taught me. No, the director, yeah. yes. The DOP really sets up the shots and does the... Look at that. You should show Phil this, the, what it looks oh, like. Oh, he's seen it, bro. Phil's no, aware. I mean the Google well, image. Look at this. This is, this is the picture that I was like, dang. I it. know that Phil's aware of this because one of the... Most impressive photos that came out of this was Casey Neistat and the person. Well, speaking of Casey which, Neistat that reminds funny. me of your poster. Congratulations, your poster looks fantastic. Oh, for the festival, it, it looks like this. Yeah, except it's Montreal in the backdrop. Yeah, yeah, but I mean the city. The, yeah, 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 it's a city. Uh, city. It looks like the beginning of a Bruckheimer Don Simpson movie. Do you <laughs> want to know what influenced me for the poster? Um, Ninja um, Turtles two. 
Oh, amazing. Go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. Was that, was uh, Corey Feldman still Donatello in that one? Yeah. <laughs> Those are good movies. That was a good impression. So, yeah, New York is uh, eating it right now. Greta Thunberg is mad. Uh, um, Statue of Liberty uh, is coughing. <laughs> it, does, it sucks, but you, you know what I find nuts is that we can... So, let's say in Montreal, right? If I hadn't watched the news, I would have never known about the forest fires. But they're so close to us. Yes. So it makes me think, imagine Poseidon in another in another time without the same technology. Yeah. You can have uh, a town or city five, six hours away yeah. that is wiped off the map. You don't know. And you won't even notice. That's you true. You go down even, a few months even, later and everything is scorched. Yeah, but yeah, even yeah. though Even though you have the means to communicate with everyone around the planet... We still won't know shit about anyone. It's like and it's before, nearby. I wouldn't have had like, any idea. It's like before we had technology for it. Yeah, it's the same thing. But we, oh, it's so weird. <clears throat> uh, yeah, imagine, yeah, like a hundred years ago, we don't have all these same news thing. and everything. Uh, and this they, happens, and we don't. We're just chilling. We're like, oh, it's gone. New Yorkers are freaking out. <laughs> How would New Yorkers sound like? What are they telling each other right now? Get the Yo, coffee. No, what's up? What's up going on over here with all this smoke? Oh yeah, that's from up in Canada. What you mean up in Canada? Oh no, that's they got their fires over there. They are the fucking Canadians. For Canadians I had trying the to fires get us up there. Yo, give me two Lucy, son. Next stop, Hoyt and Skimmerhorn. This end train's making local stops. Stand clear, closing doors. You, as a person, are an autistic radio station. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's New York. I just, I just gave a perfect rendition of what a day in New York sounds. Like. A perfect. Poifect. I give a poifect well, that's, rendition. No, that, that's that's the lo- dock worker Tara Canis Tracy uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. accent. But I was doing Harlem right yeah. now. It's different. New Yorkers sound different. It's not always uh, do Staten Island. It, it's not. Well, no, Staten Island. That's what fucking Pete Davidson sounds like or his mother. But Staten Island is still the Italian. But the actual New York, not New York. A get the not that New York. Get the, the fuck out of here. The, the, the person giving you service at the 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 uh, in the in the metro. The the those people, regular people, New Yorkers. They talk. They, there's a black kid. The new the little bit. Uh, the, uh, clearer, I, I not love so I, much. Hey. I love New Yorkers, but I always get into arguments picking on the accent. The coffee, that's where it first started. Go, there's a, no, there's a, no W in that word. Yo, that's my government and name. Mad. And it, they put it before the O. Coffee. Give me, coffee. give me like three days in New York, um, uh, and I'll yeah, come back I, with a stronger accent. Yeah, obviously, I don't know. Yeah, if you, I, um, when I come back from Australia, I, I talk. To, it's it's uh, uh, it, it. I don't know. It, it, I it influences. You know who's You're a, a chameleon. An, no, no, it, it happens to everyone. Uh, I started losing my Park X accent. Yeah, and that's over time, weird because yeah. that yeah, was like but, one of my defining features. Yeah, um, um, Jay, Mo- uh, an underrated mimicker. I'm not saying comedian. I'm not saying you want to uh, say Jay Moore because you said it, his name. No, no, no. To begin it's with. actually. I said, Can I say something about Jay Moore? Have you seen him recently? He put on weight. Yeah, he's uh, he he. Um, yeah. Uh, I, w- I was actually going to say Dana Carvey. I, was, I said Jay Moore, but really, I was going to use Jay Moore to go to Dana Carvey. Was in fact a chameleon. <clears throat> uh, Dana Carvey for the younger people. Saturday Night Live in the eighties. The Master of Disguise. A master and the Master of Disguise, the cult hit that stunk but was great. Uh, he Wayne's World. He knows the way he because the way he describes how to do the impression, what you have to do. Uh, uh, that's what's what I love. I. I I've been. I always did that. I learned in order to do the <coughs> British accent, uh, you got to speak at the front of your mouth. Speak at the front yeah, of but, your but, mouth. But see, that's that's uh, uh, very vague in a way. What I mean is the actual technicality. You got to talk back of the throat up. Uh, when yeah, I you, just mentioned the technicality. No, I'm 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 having I'm I'm having an anxiety attack. No, I'm not. Uh, you do you gotta, know how to do the French you accent from France? <clears throat> I, I'm not talking about the accent. I'm talking about the. Uh, the blueprint in which to get to that mimic. Oh. That's Do you what know I how mean. to get to the mimic of the French accent from France? Well, I would just. Uh, 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 that's how I would. Get oh, it's easier. I guess. <clears throat> Sladen, you ready? Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I was See, waiting for it. <laughs> that was a good. Yes, but um, so um, how. Um, so, yeah, what's happening uh, in Calgary with the fires? Do they still have fires? Uh, my mother was uh, in Alberta during the fires. Wow. There was uh, smog everywhere. They, they had to close the windows. She could. She was in Edmonton, and uh, she was coughing. When I heard her, it sounded like... Was she really? Yeah, when, I, when she had called me, and I heard her voice, I go, okay, just grab 
get on a plane. Uh, I'm getting a ticket. Come yeah, back to Montreal. Like, like, no, no, I'll survive. But um, um, the great Bret Hitman Hart, Bret Hart, yeah. uh, opened up a Bret Hart restaurant in Calgary Smart at move. the casino. I, I guess he just lent his name to it. Guess, and all his memorabilia and all his stuff is over there. Paul well, Hogan has that in Clear, uh, Clearwater, what is it? Clearwater yeah, Florida. where the Scientologists are. But Do you know I, him? Do I know Hulk Hogan? Yeah. I've never met him. I mean, I've met him once with Patrick. I met him. I met him when I was young, but I don't know him. I'd like to... No, no but I could get to Hulk Hogan because... That's uh, why I'm uh, asking. Can uh, you get to him so I could get him on the podcast? I could Skype oh him in. Oh, my God. Uh, I can, but I'll... I'll uh, and if he... It so if happens he, that my connection to get to him... I know what you're going to say. Is, Let's not you know get into it. Yeah, you, you burn a lot of bridges. Um, but if you can, try to get to him. And if he's one of those people that doesn't know how to use technology, I will fly to Florida to interview Hulk Hogan. Nice. This is gonna. I want to go to Florida anyway. This is gonna but happen. To hang out with Hulk Hogan. But I could. You could do that with Bret Hart if you want. I'd love to interview Bret Hart. Okay, so that's because uh, uh, um, I look it up, Bret Hart. Well, this is what's gonna happen. Is you know I have two. I own two Montreal screw job chairs. I know that. And I want to legit donate to the Bret Hart uh, uh, restaurant. One of them, or maybe both of them, and uh, because. What am I gonna? That they deserve to be there. That's history, yeah. Yeah, they deserve. He, they're probably not in there. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. I don't aren't. think they are. And uh, one of the guys I am friends with uh, from there uh, that I was in Vancouver with, he he went to the opening of that place and he met Brett because you remember where I went. You remember where I went? I met this guy. Uh, Brett had a painkiller issue, sadly. Uh, every, every wrestler did. Yeah, so, uh, uh, and he, he's a, uh, it's good. Yeah, I think it's, I, I respect that. I think it's a good move. That's how we can get Brett on, and it's it's nice. I love to get Brett and Hogan. Yeah. What if you get him to get, imagine Brett it's and It's very Hogan. rare. No, no, Their I know. schedules are so fucked up. No, I know. Yeah, these but kind Hogan, of people. Yeah, they, they move around because they go to cons and they yeah, sign. But Hogan has had, uh, he doesn't move a lot in. That's anymore. what I'm saying. Does he want me to go down there? I'll go down there. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a question. Oh yes. fuck, for you. Why? Um, and don't take this in a bad way. Uh, take, take it in a bad way. Yeah, I always <laughs> do. But I, why? Not, every not time, for anything. You just did not for anything. Uh, 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 anytime you uh, say somebody's name, like you said, Brad Hitman Hart, you gotta say it in a certain. Is that like Tourette's? You gotta say it in one. You, 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 you have Tourette's. You just didn't finish your sentence. You finished it no, in your head because the way he said it's a <clears throat> Brett. A hit man, like that. Because like, I've because noticed he does that for everyone. No, I do it does. for. There's a specific group of people listening that understand the reference. It's because you didn't get the reference, but I did a a spot-on impression of um, Howard Finkel, the announcer, would announce, Uh, Brett Hitman uh, Hart. He would uh, would always announce. He looks like a a bulldog. He he would sound like a, like he said it exactly like that. It was like a a Michael, but let's get ready to rumble. It's always like that. I did Howard Finkel that way. So it's not every time I say something. It's that sometimes I'll make a, 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 it's happened where I just say random shit like that. So, but I think sometimes you don't get the references. I'm just curious where it comes from. You know, it comes from the fact that it's funny. It does suck that Lenny Poffo is dead because I think that would have been the greatest interview. Me and the macho man. Um, he was very eloquent, you know, uh, um, Lanny, that's his voice is kind of like that. Lanny was very eloquent. He was the genius. Wait, Lanny, is it his brother? No, uh, Randy Poffo was Macho Man. Yeah, and that's Lanny it. L- was, Lanny died too? Lanny died about, um. They two, both fucking two, died? Three months ago. In, no, uh, don't lie. In, um, uh, he was living in Belize or something like that. Yeah, you didn't hear about this. Oh, fuck. Maybe it skipped over the radar. Oh, yeah. fuck. I now think I, and, and he, I. When he passed, he uh, he had passed in between two major uh, oh, uh, iconic bro, that's deaths. So and what shitty. I actually thought to myself was, it's too bad. I would have loved. There is a comment because uh, Macho Man, for the record, Macho Man uh, always every interview he was he always stayed, the Macho he Man. In that's character. why I would have loved to interview yeah, the Macho Man. Uh, uh, um, I, I go this down is those. The podcast. I go down those rabbit holes. Do you want to? Are we? Uh, can we watch a Macho Man? Because uh, you do the best of Macho Man interviews. Yeah, they're fun. Uh, um, there's one. It's called the the best moments in Macho Man. I'll I'll tell you which Cream one. Of the crop. I'll tell you exactly which one is just fucking hell. Like this guy. He's hilarious. The real real performer. Like, this guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, what an what Plus, an I love how much. Yeah, he- I'll tell you six memorable, but I'll tell you where to go, Poseidon. Hold on, don't just press play. I'll tell you which. No, no, the six memorable ones. 
Uh, um, now, now, just can you scroll at the bottom of them and and uh, quickly on the video? Yeah, yeah hold and, on, wait till and on. Just relax, bro. You fucking relax. And just a uh, uh, quick. You're manic. Calm down. I'm a maniac, maniac, oh no, and I'm dancing like I've never. Oh, done. this is a WWE that released it. They might flag us, these cocksuckers. Yeah, that's yeah, because this is the best one, sadly. But uh, um, so it's towards oh, the end. Mute it. Yeah, I'll you, put it up yeah. slowly. Uh, okay. Go. Yeah. Awesome. I know a gentleman oh. going to be a big part of an upcoming card. Easy. Is but this, keep fast forward. Okay, it's all right. We're that? starting with this. This is what I was trying to say. Is start with the, a better one. Shh. Lucky person. Yeah, out there somewhere is going to win a silver cloud. What a lucky, lucky, lucky. What a lucky, lucky. I love his voice. You know, Santana, if you go to the... Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship bout with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Like I was dressed. <laughs> this is earlier uh, Macho. Like I wonder if I could pull that off. Yeah, you can. You'd be a great uh, Macho Man. Uh, but I, but I would make you the cowboy hat Macho Man, not this. I would do. Then the he one became with, the gang member of Macho yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah. There's different Macho. Yeah. At the end, yeah. he was. He was. Skip uh, this one. Yeah. Skip to the maybe third one, Poseidon. Keep this going. The gang member one. Keep going. No, no, it's no, later. Uh, the last one is yeah. Keep going. One more. This one. Go this back. One. Yeah, cup of coffee. It's that one, right? Yeah, click. Cup of coffee. Look at this guy, bro, <laughs> giving free ads. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh the we gotta, uh, we gotta wait like a bunch of days. Cup of coffee. Oh, that you see what it is? It's fucking. What's her name? Jay. This Marv. Uh, what's her name, bro? Captain Marvel. Jay Lee. Oh, is that her? Yeah, sure. Jay you didn't see she was driving. Yeah. She's like, even women can drive. Yeah. Like, okay, we get it. Jay Lethal, excellent Macho Man. Have you seen his uh, Macho no, Man but I'm impersonation? Sure, I'm sure he does it well. He does it like Jay Moore does uh, walking. Uh oh. Mean Gene. Mean Gene. Mean Gene's dead also. Yeah. Sarasota, Florida. Come on in. Cup of coffee. <laughs> Against the dragon, Ricky Steen. But what's the cup? For? This is before WrestleMania 3. Ninety thousand plus people watching right there. Uh -oh. This is Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's cup of coffee in the big time. <laughs> yeah, cup of coffee in the big time because <laughs> you'll never get closer than now. I am the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, and I will remain the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. And George the Animal Steel on the outside <laughs> will be no factor. Yeah. You say no fact. I like this guy. He's, he's amazing, bro. He's amazing. He's, he's, awesome. he's looking away. Mr. Sarcasm, yeah. I don't care if you got 23 wrestlers around the outside and it doesn't even matter. No, because I am ready and I will not let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Cup of coffee, man. Yeah. yeah. He even brings it back. Call he back. is so coked man. out. Look, look. Wow, man. <laughs> he's completely out of it. Go to the one when he's with Miss Elizabeth. Keep going. It's it's the greatest. Fast forward when he's with his girlfriend. He comes in with his girlfriend. It's go to towards the end. Wait, wait, no, back up. Back up. Yeah. No, no, the one where she's there. Stop. Forward. Yeah, this one, the one with her. Look into the video scope right there. Look into the video scope. Look into the video scope and see how proud you are to be the manager of the Macho Man. No, I am proud to be the manager of the Macho Man. When you ask her a question, you've told me I can't <laughs> talk to her, Randy. I've <laughs> told you that from time to time. Yes, I have. Would you like to ask her a question right at this particular time? Would you like to do that? May, may I? Oh, yeah. What kind of a question do you want to ask her? Well, Elizabeth. You wouldn't give her that flower, would you? Oh. Uh, if you did that, you know what would happen? Yeah, I've got a good idea. You know what would happen <laughs> if Okerlund gave a flower to Elizabeth? Elizabeth, do you know what would happen? Well, don't, now don't get her in the middle of this. She doesn't. Mm, man, I think that you The one where he says, welcome to New York to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Bro, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the other one with her. No, no, we've seen enough oh, Macho Man, Doc. Calm, you're going amazing. to your manic yeah, thing again. Calm no. down. We've seen it. It's because I'm so, I want you guys so badly to see the I've one. I've seen all his promos. Where, where he says to her, do you want to hold this? No, I changed my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gives her the he belt. He gives it to her and takes it back. And then he goes, no, I'm not going to let you hold it. He does the psych. he's amazing. I love this guy. I can't believe you haven't gone I've never watched I'm a single oh. Macho Man in yeah, I, I, I don't know how you all, yeah. yeah don't know who Macho Man is dude Macho Man was the greatest even yeah. uh, like Hogan is he's he's a fun character he hated Hogan so much him and Hogan uh, Poseidon were best friends okay and what happened was Hogan's a bit of a it's a bit of a pussy they, yeah, who, and um, it, yeah. I want to ask him about this mm. so essentially 
Hogan's wife and Elizabeth, so Macho Man's wife, they became best friends. So when Macho mm-hmm. Man was losing his fucking mind, he was possessive, very possessive, very possessive. She started to escape and and go to like Hogan's house and all that. And then he found out that she was staying with Hogan and Hogan hadn't told him and he lost he, he lost wanted it. to kill yeah. him. He really took it bad that uh Hogan uh, kind of pretended he didn't know shit of where Oh shit, the Hogan's in the wrong. Yeah, Hogan is in the wrong. There. Yeah, Hogan was in Hogan the wrong. Hogan will this, say yeah. he's in the wrong now. Yeah. But at a lot at the time no. Yeah. Um yeah. but um uh he is he stayed in character all the time that he uh Someone asked him for his autograph once, and this is when Kayfabe didn't. We didn't know about Kayfabe. He literally got arrested because he fucking knocked the guy out for asking for an autograph because he had to stay in character. <laughs> Bro, everything yeah. you say about this guy it it makes him. me yeah. like him yeah. more. Well, you, you know who he is. Oh, Poseidon, I'll tell you who he is. Now you'll know who he is. The first Spider-Man movie when Spider-Man beats uh, the wrestler in yeah, the movie. Yeah, he's Macho Man. That's Macho Man. Yeah, yeah I but know. But that's I him after in his career late in his life where he was jacked on steroids to have one more run because he's 50 years old. Uh, and then he hurt his neck for real for the rest of his life after this movie because he didn't want to do his own stunts. Yeah, he had to go do it himself. Yeah. So he threw him against the ropes, went up against the ropes and landed on his head. Hurt his neck. So for the rest of his life, couldn't turn his head like this. No, yeah. He had to turn his whole body to turn. Yeah. God damn. That's <laughs> that, when you see him fall in that movie, it's actually he hurts himself. Really? The, the shot they took when he throws him up against the steel cage, Macho Man, uh, that's what hurt what uh, couldn't wrestle anymore. Cause, <laughs> yeah. He he was uh, the wrestler in um, Spider-Man, the first one. With yeah. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they... Um, he got to become champion after the steroid trial, uh, I believe. Yes, no. WrestleMania f- 5, 4. 5 was Ultimate Warrior. Uh, H- Hogan um, uh, had to relinquish the belt. And there was a big tournament. of uh, First big tournament of two wrestlers. For, uh, and the, the winner, the end of the tournament, I believe, was him against Ted DiBiase. Like, Ted DiBiase took a beating beautifully. Like, technical wrestlers... Be- really became an art form. The, to take the, a beating. The Macho Man... Uh, to sell, as yeah. the wrestlers would say. Like Ravishing Rick Rude, great seller. Uh, Ric Flair. Ric Flair, excellent. The Ricky Steamboat Macho Man WrestleMania three workhorse match, the Intercontinental match, still to this day goes down in history. They, he was so meticulous, Macho Man, that he wrote down, like... Everything you see in that ring has been gone over, like down to the last detail. And Ricky Steamboat was like that too. Yeah, it's a circus. If Ricky Steamboat would have stayed in WWF, Vince was a prick. Vin, uh, he had just had a baby and uh, he wouldn't let him go take time off, Ricky Steamboat, because he was getting a push. So Vince took that bad that when Ricky Steamboat came back years later after going to Den- NWA, uh, he put him down the card. He put him as a mid-carder. But Ricky Steamboat, had he stayed that technical, two technical wrestlers, Macho Man and him. Whew. But he left just to spend time with his family. He had just had a baby and uh, he wanted to go spend time with his family. And uh, Vince was upset. He let him go. But then uh, uh, it was a problem. Like, yeah. yeah. Vince took a lot of stuff personally that he yeah. shouldn't have. I'm but giving you a push and you're not respecting that for a baby. But in Vince McMahon's defense, correct, he was always willing to do business. Yeah. So even if he got into a big fight with you, you could still go work there years later. But he was known to... Old put, grudges? Put, put, put the uh, NWA guys um, on, a, on, a, on a B, not A, not to the front. Uh, years like when, when Dusty Rhodes showed up, he gave him fucking yellow polka dots. This is dusty yeah. fucking roads. And you're giving him yellow polka dots. He didn't care. He took the money. But yeah. he gave him yellow polka dots, uh, the American dream, and you gave him sapphire as a, to follow him around. Yeah, what was that about? I think Vince, because maybe they're... Sorry, uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Maybe they, they, um, there's a real racial thing back because he's from the South. And they put a black girl next to him for no, you. No, but know, he likes. Uh, she was nice. It was a whole angle. No, no, but but no, they got uh, along better. But Dusty, Dusty Rhodes was not a racist. No, but do you know that? Uh, like Dusty Rhodes was even his son. His son okay. is married to a black Vince, girl. Vince, Vince might be racist. Oh, Vince! No, Vince so, isn't racist either. Okay. I don't think so okay, either. Okay, well, let me tell you this: when ah. when Million Dollar Man was created, yeah, I'm not saying racist. I'm saying. I'll laugh at the at the at the racist joke. That's fine. 
So, so do you, that, so do I. Correct. So that's what I mean. Thank you for clearing that up. Yeah. Now, because we love Vince. <laughs> Who doesn't love Vince? Could you go a little more to your left, Guido? Yes, I can. There we go. Sorry. So uh, when Million Dollar Man was created, he had a, a bodyguard assistant named Virgil. I know. Named after... Vince. After uh, um, no, no, Dusty Vir Rhodes. Uh, Virgil, uh, then they, they named him. He was Vince when he was in, uh, in WCW, Vince, in WCW yeah. to make fun of Vince McMahon. Because uh, Dusty Rhodes' name is Virgil. Uh, uh, so I uh, uh, going back to that. So he, he takes a... Like when he... Uh, Diamond Dallas Page went to... He went nowhere. A lot of great wrestlers when they went... Uh, when WWE. They, they started... Yeah, DDP, they, they fucked him up. When he got to WWE, yeah, they, they, made, they him, made him the stalker. They made him the stalker yeah. and they fucked uh, that up. Uh, he oh. didn't really respect the WCW guys or, or I guess he was mad because they were going yeah, yeah. head to head. Like he holds grudges, like you said. Yeah, he but Booker T got a huge push. Yes, Booker T, absolutely. Uh, there's some that... Uh, Ray Mysterio, excellent, but not Dean Malenko, not uh, uh, some other ones that were just... The radicals. Yeah, great technical... Well, I wrestling. mean, Eddie Guerrero was champion. Chris Benoit was champion. Eddie Guerrero, excellent. Like he did push both mm -hmm. and Jericho. Then so were, it's not everyone. It just depends on... Then there were guys that were already established in the territories before Maybe Benoit anything. ruined it for everyone. He's like, look, I give these guys a push and they kill their kids. Here's one. Road Warriors. Yeah. Fucking most popular badass. Legion of Doom. Biggest pop. Okay, biggest pop coming into a, an arena. Always them. Ugh, around the world. Um, they went away. They were... They were uh, from before their time, they couldn't get them. They made demolition. He he yeah. he, he made demolition as a he made a copy. Uh, powers of pains, but finally, when they did show up, they were great. Then they left, and they said, "Oh, let's get Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering was their original manager. Oh my God, it's gonna be." They bring him in, but what does Vince do? Now you have to hold a puppet like Otto and George for the. So the Road Warriors now have to hold a ventriloquist puppet. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It looks because we're family, but they looked and they hated that. They looked bad. Like it, these guys are the. Maybe he was going in the PG thing. So these are little Vinceisms that are. So are, Vinceisms, you you might know about this. The PG era thing, you, it's come back before. Like he went into PG just, previously and then went back to normal just attitude era and then attitude went. Era, yeah, there oh. was a little Pete because that's all. So, that's so do you think that's I what's can, next? That they're going to leave the PG era? They've been talking about leaving the PG era for. Years and they still haven't. I and, think that would make money. And I don't know what's happening in AEW. How that's are they? Are they more more uh, rough? AEW is kind of stupid. Are they acrobatics? Patrick it, swears by AEW. I know, though. but the thing is, the, it's so bad. It is that you could tell it's bad. It's like when you in the nineties when you would see a movie, you could tell it's shot in oh, Vancouver. Oh yeah, yeah, it's besides you know what I'm talking about. AEW feels bro low budget. Okay, production like even quality. the interviews, these fake interviews, and then the yeah. guy MJF. He tries too hard to break kayfabe. Oh, bro, what it's mean? it's awful. Okay, so so the guy, what's his name? Tony Khan? Is that the guy who owns AEW? Yeah. So everyone's just saying everything's amazing because he just has deep pockets. He's he paying does everybody. Deep, oh, it's awful, and everybody's bro. just like, yeah, yeah, it's great. So I yeah. want it to be good, but it's yeah. awful. So he's just got a bunch of yes men and everybody's just doing it. And they, this guy, when he's not there, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. But he's paying us. Let's just keep going. And again, I don't watch enough of it. So maybe if I get into it, I could. Why doesn't uh, like a, 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 a Jeff Jarrett or a Freddie or one of these Bob Pritchard or one of these guys go work there? Freddie Prince Jr. would be the best. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. Have you spoken to him? Uh, not yet, but I'll reach out to Chris Van Vliet, see if he can yeah. connect me with him. I, I, I listened to him and uh, Freddie. It was a good one. I like Freddie. I he's really a, like Freddie. Yeah, but exactly I like the dude, Chris age. Van Vliet. Uh, fucking, un he's he's well respected, but he's underrated for where he should be. Yeah, his Will Sasso was fantastic. His Will, he's a Will fucking Will Sasso. He, I, that's another guy who's uh, mimicking. I respect is Will Sasso. He's Will Sasso. I like but Van Vliet uh, doesn't get enough credit. Yeah, he's a very good interviewer. He's a yeah. good dude. Always nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um. Oh, I was going to say something just before that about, um, what were we talking about before we went to Van Vliet? You're saying about the, oh, Freddie Prince. You know what I'd want to ask him? Same thing you'd want to ask him, but I wonder if he talks about that. His like, father? Yeah. I wouldn't want to ask him about I that. I know, that's it. That's why I brought it up. You don't, you don't, because he appears to never have spoken about it in his life. I don't want to speak about that because it's got nothing to do with him as a person, what he yeah, does, his correct. accomplishments. Correct. In, and it sucks because... We're in the comedy business, but he, yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to, like... No. Like you know what you could talk to him about? Here's the thing. He, he's done without going in lineage, without his dad. or Like, he, he's done himself alone A so lot. much. Yeah. He's done yeah. so much 
Yeah. There's no point of he's being literally like, Freddy Shaggy Scooby Doo. What I'm trying, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that he doesn't need to be in the shadow of anyone. Yeah, yeah, correct. Or any event. His, 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 he's accomplished his, enough himself yeah. that you could focus on his accomplishments. And you know what's what's cool about it? Because mm. I'm also a junior. Is that just the Jr. after your name enough is honoring your father? Yeah. Um, uh, oh no, dude, he's a great dude. Everyone, <laughs> look, he has a good reputation. Yeah. And it, which is hard nowadays because yeah. everyone's a scumbag. He has a good reputation. He's a nice guy. He does what he loves. Successful Hollywood marriage. That, another thing I was successful, and he didn't marry like a random person. No, he married successful fucking, yeah. marriage to another star. One of the most like wanted I, women yeah. in that Buffy. Yeah, fucking yeah, iconic uh, at the time too. Yeah, and uh, yeah. so uh, he does everything right. Good family. He, he, he's a good dude. So no, I think he's done enough himself that he's created his own. And that's what honors his father. Did you, the fact yeah, that he's correct. he's the shit. Yeah. Did you hear about his scrap with Kiefer? Sutherland? Yeah. Oh, I want to hear this. Okay. Now, um, uh, Kiefer, very lovable guy. I've um, uh, There's a place called Ye Rustic Inn in Hillhurst, uh, L.A., uh, on Hillhurst in Los Feliz in L.A., that, uh, where, the, the, where DiCaprio was born, actually. Uh, Ye Rustic Inn, it's it's the type of place... I love that, how Poseidon has no clue what we're talking about, so we have to Google Buffy Vampire Slayer yeah. husband. Uh, that's funny. No, first I did actress, uh, and then I... Anyway, her so Kiefer, you go in there, it's a very dark, dimly lit jukebox place uh, that smells like there's beer on the floor, and yep. uh, Kiefer buys drinks for everyone in there, and he starts, he gets plastered. So he's been known to be a plastered fucker. So when... A Ke true Canuck. Yeah. So Freddie had like a few episode arch on uh, 24. And uh, he, he said it was actually this exact moment that caused him to do his passion and forget it uh, and went into wrestling writing instead of acting. It was exactly that. Him and Kiefer, because he's like unprofessional, worst experience I've ever had working. This guy never shows up. We're all waiting around. He's making the whole crew web, blah, 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 blah. And he couldn't take it. Because I guess Kiefer would be hungover and fucked up. My beef, my beef, my beef with Kief, because <laughs> I have a beef with Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. Uh, but it's one way he doesn't he doesn't know me. This yeah. is just me not liking Kiefer Sutherland. I have one beef with him, but I don't know if it's even his. It's not even his fault, but it, it, it it's always gonna rub me the wrong way, because um, I'm a big, big Metal Gear Solid fan. You okay. Know yeah, and you see that character right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, the uh, on the Obama poster. Oh. So in the Metal Gear Solid Five game, the original actor David Hayter, a big fan of his, uh, doesn't get to play him for the first time. After all that, they they got rid of him, and everyone was in shock in order to get Kiefer Sutherland because he was a name, he was a draw, but he was uh, not we, look, look, he was not well cast. I will say one thing, Poseidon. It. Years later, now I don't know if the internet has ever addressed this. For the first time ever, Hideo Kojima's decision to get Kiefer Sutherland. To play Venom Snake actually makes sense. And I will explain why. Of course he has a different voice. We find out at the end of the game, he's not actually Big Boss. Wow, so it all makes sense in the end. He was he was the medic on the plane ah. in another game right before Ground yeah. Zeroes, where it blew up. What happened was... They uh, rescued him. They did reconstructive surgery to make him it. look yeah, like him. Cool. And then they put all yeah. these memory. They, they conditioned him to really think that he's Big Boss. That's great. So it kind of does so, make sense that he doesn't have the correct voice. So Because that's the one thing that you're not going to be able to fully change. The creator of this uh, is thinking, ah, wait till these haters are complaining. Wait till years later. Haters, like, ha, it does he, make sense, right? Holy shit. He's Hide laughing. Hideo Kojima is... Uh, Hideo Kojima is laughing because he's like, wait, 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 wait. Because yeah. I wait. remember being shocked and thinking, I go... Why would he do that after all these games mm -hmm. just to change haters' mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. voice? Because so it became iconic. Metal Gear. It can't be. You know, it became but iconic. Kiefer has made a movie, an entire movie, where it was just his voice. You remember him and Colin Farrell in the phone booth movie? Oh, that was him on the phone, where yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's remember that? Yeah, be remember that. Movie, Colin Farrell. Not, not, but the whole movie's in a phone booth. Fuck. Colin Farrell, best acting. You know what I think what movie? shows his best acting? Uh, phone booth, Poseidon. Uh, the, the last one or the one uh, before that in Bruges? No, no, no the, last the last one. one yeah, the last one I haven't seen yet. The last one is Batman. Oh yeah, I thought you meant the la the one he was nominated for an Oscar. No, for. no, no, he should. No oh, joke. Batman, you told oh, yeah, me he's a very good actor. Yeah, in Batman, I didn't know till days yeah. later that it was him. Yeah, great. He's sober. He was. He had a big, uh, big ass problem. Uh, back to Freddie for a second. When you yeah. when you do interview him, you uh, uh, if you 
No, you will one day. Uh, uh, ask him. Um, so you were in a movie uh, called Brooklyn Rules, uh, released as Brooklyn Rules, but at the time, um, and you'll know the name by then, <clears throat> um, you oh, worked yeah. with Scott Kahn, Jerry Ferrara, and Alec Baldwin. Uh, and uh, uh, the stand-in uh, was Guido Grasso. What was that like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I, were the stand-in? I saw this. I No, I didn't see this. I was in this. Okay. Uh, so now, three friends, best friends from childhood in Brooklyn, uh, grow up and get into the wrong uh, stuff. Uh, and they go into... Uh, they go, they shoot, they shot into an, uh, the, the nightclub owner. So everyone's in line, waiting in line to go into the night. And Alec Baldwin is shaking hands, being the nightclub. Like, how are you? How are you? Hey, nice to see you. And I, I, Alec is, is fucking, he's cool as shit. And he's very professional and very funny. Who, uh, Alec Baldwin? Yes, he is. Yeah. As, as, a, as a person. He's, very professional. He, except for the accidental for, shooting for, and murder of one of his co- co-stars, his co-workers. That's, that's, but apart from uh, that, yeah, he's... Yeah. I mean, we're talking 2002 <laughs> uh, Alec Baldwin, not yeah. Besides, right. would you describe this as a professional uh, the, work environment? If I would stab you, you know what? What a shitty choice oh. of words. I I meant to say professional in the sense like he's carrying the room, like he's a maitre d of a restaurant. But, but then again, That's he did, he meant, did as, shoot like a professional. He he, he, he shot he once shot and perfect. killed. Yeah, he uh, he one uh, bullet. I would so, argue that uh, that's not what he should have done. So in the nightclub <laughs> now. Uh, they're in there and the music's playing to doof, 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 full nightclub, just like, uh, anyway, you've seen my fucking, so pouring drinks and then they go outside and now uh, a turtle from Entourage gets shot outside a car. So outside of the open door of the car and laying down onto the cement. Now, when the DOP checks the lighting on him, it's not going to be Turtle lying there dead. It's Guido. <laughs> you took the position of Turtle. For, I was this, for that. I That's could, interesting. What a, what a way the world works. Because now you work, you have a podcast with my Turtle. It's, uh, isn't it that interesting? That's so funny. So, Bro, but, I'm telling you, Scott, this he, is all a simulation. And, and, and in this scene, you this know This is all a simulation. This is crazy. Do you know why Freddie's oh. going to remember this? Mm. Freddie's going to remember this because it was his most emotional scene. The director was crying. Cause I Wait, wa- I think I saw this movie. This was the one where Turtle was like a mailman. Uh, 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 I don't remember. But hold on. Hold anyway, on. Freddie cries. Chris Pine. Not Chris Pine. Uh, the, the short guy that's a little tough is in it too. Yeah, Scott Kahn. Yeah, Scott Kahn. Kahn. Yes, that's it. Yeah. That's it. So Freddie cries. Oh, I've seen this movie. Okay, I was. You see Turtle when, when he's dead on the floor? I can't remember. And what that what fucking, movie? Sorry. It's called Brooklyn Rules. Yeah, and, and one of them is the one that goes to school and he's doing well. He's a little sneaky in school, but he's doing well, like in university in New York, right? I don't know. I, I was in the movie and then I didn't really watch. I, I was in that. I was a stand How did you I, not watch a movie that you're in? If it's a, that's an actual good and movie. And I'm also in the Alec Baldwin Sorry. scene too. Why are you looking at Turtles, bro? Brooklyn Rules? Tur- no, because Turtle is, is from Entourage, bro. It's not from Why did movie. he? Oh, he typed in Turtle. I uh, can't. What's his name? His name I is can't. Jerry Ferrara. There, Brooklyn Rules, two thousand seven. Yeah, that's it. Okay, you see him in the first, the first one. Okay, him there. Oh. That's that's that was me in in the position because the, 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 they had to check the lighting. Yeah. They're not going to make the actor lay there for three hours. That so was, it was you. me. So that you was t- you. I yeah. was his standing. How long did you have to uh, lay oh, there? Fuck, I don't know. Second team. It's good when they call second team. That's what it is. Second team. You're the B squad. Yeah. So I was second team for him. Uh, more than once, actually. I uh, I was second team for him in. Entourage. I like that they put the full movie on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember uh, th- there was some good movies back <laughs> so in the day. If you want to have a laugh uh, uh, when you talk to him, you say, by the way, when he's laying there and you're crying. So I saw Freddie cry. He was very, very good because I watched the scene being shot. I was be- over the shoulder of the director. And then he, and the dire- he was crying over you. I'm watching the director watch this. And when Freddie uh, did the no or whatever, the director star like had single tear. I saw that before my eyes. I, I, I could just imagine you laying there and he's crying. And no, instead of you him. letting him do his job, you're like, you're doing great. <laughs> Freddie, Freddie, no, don't ignore me. Did, you're doing great. Did you? Did, did, uh, oh, who's uh, Turtle and Entourage? Sorry. That's him. Him. He was no, the, the what, driver. What, he was the driver. Go watch the fucking show, bro. You, you ask these dumb pop culture reference questions that we can't explain to you unless you experience them. Go watch them. It's like um, asking me what is sex like. What do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Just to go. So um, um, yeah, that's it. So that was fun. 
Yeah. So yeah, Scott Kahn, a uh, 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 nice kid, nice, short, shorter than me, but uh, tough. Yeah, very tough. Very tough. He, uh, Scott Kahn was also in Entourage. Oh, yeah. Crave. You know who else was? Yeah, you can watch it, dude. It's, uh, you're going to actually love it. I you can't know who else is in Entourage? Have, has he never watched Entourage? No, he's never wa- I, dude, I everyone's watched. Dude, everyone watched the movie. Well, you can't watch no, the movie. You the can't movie's watch the after. Movie. Like, it's, it's after, and it's, it's like watching it won't Breaking make any Bad sense. 2 uh, before Breaking Bad. Yeah, it's like watching the Breaking Bad movie, El yeah, Camino, yeah, or whatever. And yeah, that's, that's how Poseidon rolls sometimes. Fuck, where it's annoying. Um, but uh, you know who's you know who, who yeah, was in Entourage? I watched the movie. You know, that it, it, just uh, don't uh, say uh, that. Bro. Eric, Eric Roberts. Yeah, Eric dude. Roberts is a great I met get. Eric Roberts. He's a good I get. met him at uh, the first time I was ever in L.A. It was in the middle yeah. of the night uh, at the airport. Yes. And I, I, all I knew is that he looks familiar, and I don't know from yeah. where, but I thought he looked familiar because maybe I had seen him at the airport. And then he he started a conversation, and he's like, uh, I forgot what he said, like, uh, we're tired. Like, he was just being a cool dude, uh, and you, I was being a dick. Oh. I was like, who's this fucking guy talking about? He looks familiar. And then yeah. I Googled... Uh, I forgot what I Googled because he was—he looked like someone I had seen a movie, and it was him. I was like, like, "Oh, Jesus uh, Christ, Julia Roberts' brother," and I, I was a fucking asshole. Too. Dude, I mean it. I thought it was a weirdo. He's, he's actually Eric Roberts. We would know him as Julia Roberts' brother, but it's technically she's his sister. No, no, I'm not making fun of the guy. I'm no, saying no. I like Eric Roberts, but I. I was young. It was my first time in LA. It was the middle of the night. I, I had never, dude, I had never even rented a car. And it was the first time I had to go rent a car. Like, and do, like, I had to go to rent a car. They had everything waiting for me and shit. I, I was there on business. This was in like 2013. Somebody. So who, I had no, yeah, yeah. I was fine. lost. It was my first, uh, and I had to drive from uh, LAX to uh, Laguna Beach. It, and I'd never been there before. So anyways, so I was all in my how am I can get the rental car. So I was thinking about other stuff. Yeah. So I was like, who, why is this guy starting a conversation with me? Do yeah. you know who I did that to? Mm. Gary Shandling. Oh, really? Awful experience. What'd you tell him? Uh, Listen, dick. I had uh, uh, hung out with Jeff Ross the night before, and I see Jeff outside, and I go say hi to Jeff from the night before. Like, I didn't realize I was saying hi to Jeff, interrupting his conversation with Gary Shandling. And then after they leave, Gary leaves, Gary looks at me, walks away, and I, I'm like, I'm, I'm my head, I put my head down. And Jeff's, Bro, you don't know who that is? What the fuck, man? And I felt yeah, you terrible. literally, you literally could have said, terrible. hey, Jeff, whatever, I, and then be like, Gary, you're the fucking I, shit. I, 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 I felt terrible. So that's it. After I walked, the same thing. But um, uh, Eric Roberts, somebody you know just did a, I, I listened to, a, Eric is a great get. My introduction to Eric was, fucking cool ass dude, was bro. Uh, Best of the Best. Have you seen this movie? Oh, I don't know. I've seen a best lot of Best of the Best is before your time, but it is basically a, um, like a pre-UFC fighting movie, karate movie. He's the star where USA has to fight Korea in Ta- Taekwondo. Chris Penn, Sean Penn's brother is awesome in it. James Earl Jones is the coach. I like his voice. Uh, oh, Eric, Best of the Best is such a good movie. And I, I, when I recommend stuff, not everyone watches. You, you know the guy who does Optimus Prime's voice? What's his name? Uh, Cullen. Mike, from here. Um, uh, uh, Peter, Cull- Peter, Peter Cullen. Cullen. Peter Cullen is also what the, the a voice. Predator. He's Predator. What a voice. Yeah. Iconic. Iconic Autobots engage. So, man, there's... What a voice, bro. Yeah, he created, uh, uh, did you ever listen to him? I'm sure he said it a thousand times. You may have heard how he came up with the Predator voice. The predator. I, I've seen the clips online. Yeah, he's, they say like, uh, have you ever seen these? They look like turtles, but they're crabs. They're the shape of a turtle and uh, they walk on the beach uh, uh, in Wildwood, New Jersey. They're everywhere. They're, they're, they're disgusting. They're huge. Like uh, this big, I'm uh, in an audio, but two feet big, uh, with a big dome like a crab, and you see them dried up on the beach. Like that, when they're flipped over, their their feet, their crab feet, make like the 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 mouth of uh, a predator. Okay, yeah, yeah. They're, and they're, that's they're, how, how, in his mind, where he grew up, because he grew up in New Jersey, that's how he came up with what that sound would be. He thought of it, and because everyone cr- everyone was coming in doing. And he thought, no, no, I'm thinking of that crab thing. When I see it drying in the sun, crackling, and he went, and that's how he got it. That's all good pussy sounds like. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yes. He told the audio yeah, engineer to turn up the volume, uh, and, and he, it was, he did that, and boom, on the spot. Yeah, that Excellent. was a good idea. He's yeah. masterful, man. Yeah. That voice... 
Yeah, I, I, I Autobots never. Autobots roll out. Oh, that's what they say. Roll out. Who says engage? Oh, the fucking Captain Jean Luc Picard says yeah. engage. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I never explored that the uh, voice acting. I don't know why. I never, oh, I, I love voice actors. I'd love yeah. to voice act, but yeah. from what I'm told, my agent, it is a very tight knit community, it, and yeah. they don't let people in. Easy. Yeah, in this town I do because I recognize the voices, the local actors. Yeah. Uh, it'll be uh, Alain Goulem. Um, Mark Camacho, Larry Day. These are people that... Uh, it's very hard to break in, which sucks because that's something I would have loved to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you can still... Do, there's... there's. Um, I forgot the standard. You know how, like, there's the IMDb Pro? There's, like, a, a voice one like that. I don't know no, if it's no, like no, voice but they, they, one, they two, go, three. It's kind of like how Actra Udia is and all that. They, they really go... Yes, the, correct. The, the, With who they the, know and the, reputation. The, the, the homeboys first. Right. Yeah. But... The go-to resource when they're looking for something specific, that uh, 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 database, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, mm-hmm. Like uh, on casting workbook, you got to put it, put like get a good demo in there because you'll get a random, uh, you'll get a random, uh, but yeah. A absolutely. random call? Yeah. like Rare. That's what I mean. But that one in a million could happen. You yeah. ever been in the newspaper? <sighs> yes, for pizza. Is that why you brought the newspaper here? This? No. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm not, we're not giving out promos, bro. Oh, not uh, so I'm holding a newspaper because of... A local uh, paper. A local paper. Um, very reminiscent of, uh, uh, you know, my high school years. Um, uh, uh, the Montreal Mirror. Remember that? Oh, I, yeah. I, it does not, not exist I'm, anymore? I don't know if it exists. I probably Can you check that out? The Montreal well, Mirror. Sorry. Montreal, Montreal Mirror. Mirror. Am I... You know, Mirror. <laughs> Uh, Montreal Mirror. So uh, it, it's my, uh, every town, every cool town. When they would, when you have to see, like, is there any concert tonight? Who's playing? I think, you, uh, I think it's still a thing. Like New York had the Village oh, no. Voice Cease publication, June twenty second, two thousand twelve. Oh, there oh, you go. Fuck, Ten that's years a long ago. time. God damn. Yeah. So this was where to go if you wanted to sell a couch, go see a live band, uh, find out movie listings, uh, some article with some art defunct. And the back page, that's where the word back page came from, was for if you want to go, you know, fuck. You know, the back classified. page was the, was the well, lot, like when you flip it over? The back page of the village voice, the back page was uh, uh, literally uh, the classifieds for sexy girls. Oh, the village voice? Okay, okay, the hold ba- on. That, the back page of the village voice. Yeah. But the back page is when you flip it over completely. Yes. Okay. Type in Village Voice back page if you like, Poseidon. And then the last few pages of the mirror would be the classifieds of. What's happening? Uh, acting parts, call, bit parts. Uh, want to sell online, or you want to want to want to call a cold call? <clears throat> Back page is a website, but it's 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 based on yeah the, the Village, Village Voice. Voice Back page. See, Village Voice Media sells. So it it did uh, what Nintendo do, did for years. Do Google Image is what I meant. Sorry, it did what Nintendo did for years. It changed the vernacular. So you were supposed to be oh, saying spot, a game yeah. console. Correct. But everyone kept saying Nintendo. Right. Are you playing Nintendo? Right. But you could have been playing Sega. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So the um, anyway, so this is why I'm holding use. Like I have memories of, you know, looking at this on the Metro. Here, there's Sammy's in there. Yeah, Sammy's <laughs> uh, commercial. Yeah. Uh, now this particular one I'm holding is just a paper version of like BuzzFeed. It's always the top ten this, top ten that. I don't know who reads the physical papers anymore though. I don't know if it's worth advertising in it. Well, I I saw this in a coffee shop where this is still a website this is wild what you do you mean you know who wait co- are you looking at escorts no 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 i'm <laughs> no, i'm just looking at the actual back page uh check if there's because th- i think they took out the back, adult dude this looks like adult shit bro this is uh, it back- literally says live escorts yeah yeah but, but i haven't clicked on it yeah Calm down. because you know when when uh craigslist got rid of their uh 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 prostitution or got rid of their sex stuff i didn't know they because of craigslist murders, i didn't know that they had that yeah uh because somebody died because of the craigslist murderer uh, uh they created they got rid of the sex on craigslist and created back page oh it's the same people no uh, this came i don't know if it's the same people why are these sites uh, craigslist and this why are these sites look like they were made by a toddler in 1994 no, because why, why can't they because just it's make it, a good it site? was influenced and and uh because new ones have come out because it was influ- so shit it was influenced by the original interface of the original craigslist okay but i don't want to be here that's what i'm saying is it's yeah, so I shit don't, don't you what, want people to want to be literally there literally looking for an apartment yeah. I, I, that's what he's no, i'm looking <laughs> for uh it's I, I read the word escort 20 times yeah, yeah. 
No, because you, you said there's ah showbiz. It literally says meet and fuck. Yeah, showbiz audition. There you go. Yeah. Are you 21 plus? I wonder if we, oh, people still post. Yeah, see? What do you mean? This site exists. Of course people post. I thought they banned it. Why would you? No. You're on the site. How could they? No, what are you talking about? Because a while ago they bound, they banned it, they and bound, that's how Leo list. Bound and kill. <laughs> Sorry, they, uh, they banned it, and that's how Leo list came into existence. Well, now it's uh, for a while. This didn't exist. Oh, I offer come oh, sure? body yes. for a job without con the I, face sitting. Uh, well, sitting, now now Simon's not going to save any more sex. money. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Um, oh, so I'm, I'm not, not showing this not to showing anyone. It, yeah. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. It literally says scam alert. That's not Montreal. Huh? That's Montreal. It says Montreal. So. It says, the, what, what, it says oh, but scam. Look at the number. It's a scam. But they're all. Most of these things are scams, though. You're gonna get kidnapped, no? Um, no, you. Um, they try to fish you for money and shit. Oh yeah. Um, um, so what have I been uh, seeing lately? Uh, Adam falls for these. Adam, I gotta call that poor kid. Let's. Uh, this one's called Let's Kinky. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, the, the, this. Uh, yeah, the, the photos are fake. The, this. Um, they're always fake. That's it's crazy. Anyways, get off that site, Poseidon. Yeah, so okay, this I'm thing, uh, um, do you believe the, 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 the Mel oh, Gibson? Oh, look at this ad. This Mel Gibson documentary that's supposed oh, to yeah, come Oh, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. Yeah, uh, so the Mel Gibson documentary. It, I, I heard it's real because um, that's what they were saying on Twitter, that he's really preparing it, and it's it's multiple parts. It's not one. Four parts. It's four parts, and it's about, Poseidon, can you go to news or go there to a credible site? Yeah. Oh, they're saying he's not. not. Click on it. Okay, Click one, on AP. one hour ago, so he had to uh, release a statement. Okay. Publicist says. Too many people are going to that source now. Yeah, so. This is AP's ass assessment. What? It says, claim Mel Gibson is making a multi-part documentary on child sex trafficking. AP's assessment, false. The actor's publicist says he isn't making any documentary about yeah. child sex trafficking. Founder of a Utah anti-trafficking nonprofit has previously suggested the actor provided initial support for a documentary it's working on. Though Gibson's publicist denied he financed the film. Uh, well, the the, the uh, facts. What does it say? Social media users are uh, lauding Gibson for helping combat child sex trafficking, with claims that he's making his documentary. Uh, many are sharing posts. So purporting to deliver the scoop, but it's not true. Why are they planting? Why is he, why why is he getting implicated in this rumor? Because uh, apparently, like I said in the beginning, there was a uh, this crew that's trying to make a documentary, and he had supported them. He sent some money. He, or whatever. he maybe said hello, said yes to a guy at a party once, so the guy started dropping his name. Maybe, or he did finance the documentary, and now he's like, no, I'm not making the movie. I financed the documentary. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't want to. It's not me making. He doesn't want to talk about oh, it. Like yeah, maybe. Uh, Okay, maybe he did finance it and wants nothing to... He doesn't want his name to... Yeah, what are the other sources saying, Poseidon? Uh, Go back to Google. fucking frozen, bro. Well, no shit, bro. You were just on a shitty when website. When your heart's not... Oh, is that what happens? The back page just... Fuck, really? Oh, it's, it's bad. Mel Gibson. Get the block out of lot. I like when they did the TV version of uh, Lethal Weapon. Instead of saying, get the fuck out of here, he had to dub, get the block out of here, Raj. Block. This is a firing gun instead of a fucking gun. Yeah, because that's how people speak. Because the TV version, do they do that anymore? They don't have to do that anymore. They don't have to, everything stream. Yeah, but like the, the dubbing for the yeah, everything stream. TV you don't have to version. Watch. But what's a TV version? That's what digital. I mean. So they don't have to, oh, the airplane version, they do it. Oh, yeah, the airplane, yeah. So they do the airplane version. So he'll still have to do it today. So then you want to click on, uh, what is that, Newsweek? Let's see what Newsweek Oh, the said. computer crashed. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, John Goodman, um, Big Lebowski. Uh, um, this, is, this is what happens when he's smashing the baseball bat on the car. When you, you think we got viruses now? No, this happens every so often. When, when John Goodman is uh, hitting the car with the baseball bat, the Corvette, and Big Lebowski, he's like, this is what you get when you fuck a guy in the ass. He's saying that. But for the airplane version, he says, this is what happens when you go skiing in the Alps. <laughs> well, he, and, what? Pretty, pretty what the fuck? What? Yeah, yeah, in, in Big Lebowski. Because how do you dub... Fucking, fucking in the, in the ass. ass over and over when a guy's screaming in a movie. What do you say? What is he, he screaming over and over? Fuck me in the ass, fuck me in the ass. In Big Lebowski. You I saw, can't remember, dude. He's uh, 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 John Goodman is convinced that this kid took Lebowski's car oh, with yeah. the money in the bag, in the briefcase, and he's talking to the kid. They're telling off this kid who's not saying a word 
with his father in like a hyperbolic chamber there and because they found the kid's homework. Whose homework is this? And then he's like, uh, okay, you don't want to talk? You don't want to talk? And he sees the Corvette outside, but it's not his Corvette. It's the Corvette of the guy across the street. And he's, uh, John Goodman is smashing the Corvette with a baseball bat, repeating, the, this is what happens when you try to fuck someone, a guy in the ass. Over, he's yeah. just saying that over and over again. He says it like 10 times. And he kept saying... And in the, in the TV version, John Goodman had to dub... This is what happens when you go skiing. I know, in the Alps. you said this four minutes oh, ago. Oh, I'm got sorry. That. I thought you didn't understand what I said. No, no, I get it. What I'm saying is there, there are no better things that could have been said that make sense because that doesn't make any sense. That's so funny. No, I, I, the reason it's funny to me is because if you see it, it kind of made it work. Oh, did it? Yeah. But it makes no sense. It's, I guess choosing those words is kind of like coming up with the porn version of something, like a funny. Because it just doesn't make any sense with the story. It's Because then you're like, wait, was that kid at the Alps? No, it's shoehorning in words that fit. With the rhythm. Oh, I get... No, no, I... It's you, that. You, you, you understand, dude, this is crazy. I like do I'm, understand. I'm not saying I don't understand that they're trying to match the lips. I yeah. get it. What I'm saying is they could have picked words that make sense in the story. Because story-wise, if you've never seen it and you're watching on TV, you're like, wait, what's the arc here? Yeah, like you could have Who said, went to the uh, Alps? Uh, uh, is that something I missed? This is what happens when you upset me with the car. Something. I get, I, I, I get That's it. retarded too. But, but you know, but at least that it. doesn't change the story. Right. But this is what happens when you go skiing in the Alps. Yeah, I think I think they 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 maybe do it to make each other laugh. Probably, yeah. That's they think that. only idiots would watch it this way. Yeah, yeah. They they do. I think it's that. <laughs> just, I understood. I love when we're talking to each other. We say you don't you don't get what I get. You get I don't get you get what I'm saying. I don't get what you're saying. I'm saying anyway. the computer crashing yeah. you again? Yeah, <clears> interesting <throat> that the computer started crashing after we started searching the Mel Gibson. Stuff. No, it started crashing after back you went page, to your shitty back, back page, page a, a website that after you went to websites that we know you're not supposed to go to. That's when it started crashing. And it, it's we read the word scam a little <laughs> on the ad. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but but it says yeah. uh, uh, Mel Gibson. Uh, it, it could crash the computer as long as any. If my password gets stolen, that's when there's gonna be trouble beside. No no no, they're not gonna. Uh, I didn't click on any links. You you clicked on to go on the site though. That's, yeah, that's a link. That's fine. I don't know if that's fine, dude. I don't trust any of these shitty... You see how badly it's made, it's bro? Only, it's only when they say, like, click here. <coughs> that's when you... Like, if you, if you click a link, they tell you to click. But just being there is the link that you shouldn't click. I don't hear about antivirus software as much anymore. I don't see ads from Norton or... Why? why they used that? to be everywhere because it was a big thing. Now, I guess, uh, people just live with viruses. Really? Is that... Or, or the... Like... Uh, yeah. Well, people know, like me, I, I avoid at home. Like I don't go to any of those sites because I don't want, I don't want to lose my data. I don't want to reset the computer. Or do I don't want to do any of that shit. I think just people are accepting that their computers break and just go get another one now or something. Or just oh, that's retarded. But I, expensive. You but. remember Adaware and Norton and well, I have McAfee. McAfee is he? I don't know if it helps. Is he gone or is he hiding? I just pay because I'm retarded, but I don't know if it helps. You have it free with Bell. Oh, is that it? Maybe I don't he, know. I pay he, for it. He was a wild guy. Yeah, okay. Um, I, uh, also VPNs. Here's one. I've been trying to look for, like, I've had to go check Italy news on YouTube. Like I type in, you know, news, uh, NBC, whatever. It'll give me the NBC. Yeah, you have a lady leader. So what's that stuff they're getting mad at Trudeau for doing for blocking, like where you are, the Bill content? Bill C 11. Okay. What is that? That's f well, yeah, he, he's allowed the, the, uh, reserve the right to block censor content. They already started censoring content. Uh, and also they ask YouTube to like um, de-throttle and, and like uh, not show certain. So let's say right now my channel is not deemed Canadian content mm -hmm. enough. Uh, he can ask YouTube to, uh, when Canadians look for it, they can't find it. Okay, it's but he, he it's the Canadian stuff. He's really He could pushing. only control Canada. Yeah, but uh, he if, shouldn't be allowed if there's to. not enough, like the... Um, what I'm saying is I'm using my VPN and you're in Canada. I'm in the U.S. I'm getting the same results you are. Okay. Okay. So That's what I would do if I was you, if I, if you really gave a shit about Italian news, you'd go directly to the source. Just go to the site. Right. Right. And click okay. on their links. I Yeah. So yeah. in other words, I've been lazy. You're right. But you're already on your phone. I don't know why you're lazy to just go to your web browser. You're typing the same search. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's um, insanity. Sometimes um, uh, the, the uh, plumbing doesn't work in my brain. <laughs> um, um Ah, shite. I lost my train. Oh, yeah. So the it's kind of like... But the true thing is, is the, nuts. The, the uh, you know, Food Network USA would have all these shows, but then Food Network Canada would have some of those shows and then had to stuff in Canadian content, which makes sense. That's the thing. Canada has, has always... The Canadian content 
not the Quebec content, the Canadian content from this country has always been maybe subpar. subpar. Yeah. Oh, everyone Whereas knows this. In Australia, their Australian content is at the same level as Hollywood, and they love it in very much the same way the French Canadian content is at Oscar level. Not all of it. No, but but they've at least reached. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 yeah, Canadian uh, content sucks because anything that is fully it, subsidized. I think it's sold deck, right? Anything that's fully, basically yeah. anything that's made just to be made mm -hmm. is going to suck yeah. in any in mm. any platform, any medium. If you make something just to make something. I mean, back in the day, there was amazing like uh, National Film Board um you know, uh, special effects of shorts that were wonderful and claymation and yeah. there was that. If But a then, production company wants to make a movie, they're, oh, I got to love the script. They love the script. They think we can make money off this. We're going to get the best actors, yeah. the best directors. This script is fucking awesome. We're going to make, it's going to make some money. If you don't care about making money, you just make something you're not even passionate about. It's just, I have to create it. That's how I get paid. That's how, yeah. So it's just making the ball. Keep I don't care. And correct. then what do I need in order to make this? And the government tells you, uh, you need yeah. to make sure there's uh, one Greek, uh, three black people, eight lesbians, uh, yeah. and one uh, white guy. And, that and then you can make it. And he's like, all right. So you just, you try to shoehorn them in. All right, you're this, you're that. Well, let's you do this. Of course, it's going to suck. Can't blame the producer for trying to do it, his job and making money. Well, the producer though. in this case would be the government. So I could blame the producer. Because then they have, because what they have is they have a um, service producer. That's a different job than a yeah. producer. Like a, someone service produces in Canada. So this production comes from somewhere else here. The guy that does the local shit is a If Poseidon's producing, okay, and he's putting a million dollars of his own money. Mm. He is not going to get, he wants his money back. This is an investment, right? So he's like, look. I'm giving you a million dollars because I like the script, let's say. Mm. But I'm producing it, so I want to make sure this money is going the right fucking place. Yeah. I, I need the best director we can get. The best actors for each role. So he's going to kind of oversee when they're doing casting and all that. He's gonna, he could put his input. Now, obviously, they could argue with him and be like, look, you're a producer. I'm telling you, you think this one's better, but this chick's going to be better? Okay, and he'll... he'll. But for the most part, he's going to oversee his money. He's going to be like, this is garbage. I don't want it. Like, that's not why I'm giving you money. So that's the difference. But when it's the government, they don't look. They're just like... Check these boxes that you have X, Y, Z. But all right, fucking do it. I'm I'm now trying to think of like iconic Canadian movies. Iconic Scanners. Scanners. I don't even know what that is. You David Cronenberg Scanners. Uh, is that Canadian? Scanners. It was. It was a. It's a. It's a. a, a cult classic. Scanner, uh, scanners. Movie. Fubars. Fubars. All the shitty ones. Oh, um, Scanners is with you know the bad guy in Total Recall, Michael Ironside. Uh, it's a, remember a scanner darkly that was weird uh, I remember that that was a a, a cartoony yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Keanu Reeves movie yeah there are scanners that's Alex that's, Jones was in it that's the uh, Alex Jones that's the iconic scene in the movie where Michael Ironside uh, who was scanners about oh, aliens I for, uh, go uh, Wikipedia at the plot scanners 1981 uh, is a Canadian the wiki one that, yeah what's the plot Quickly, a scientist. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, a scientist trains a man with an advanced telepathic oh. ability oh, called tele scanning to stop a dangerous scanner with extraordinary yeah. psychic powers from raging war, waging war against non-scanners. Yeah. Oh so shit. So David Cronenberg, that is a uh, an iconic. Uh, I mean, that's that's kind of the one. What's another Canadian one? Then, like I said, like um, you know what? I'm gonna make Co my own movie. I'm Quebec. gonna call it Scammers. Yeah. <laughs> the, be the best was this is a movie about a 50 year old autistic man <laughs> so to bring it back to who gets scammed Quebec for a second there was a uh, uh, a, a movie with Michael Ironside I like Michael Ironside called The Last Chapter yeah where, where they did it that's why I learned about the bikers right so what's cool about this movie it's uh, uh, <laughs> English and French yeah uh, uh, Claudio Luca uh, great, Bless you. great, great producer here. Uh, he destroyed. Uh, he he was just destroyed I've been, I've been extras on his <laughs> movies a lot. What happened? What fell? His oh. everything from inside him fell. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. The waterfall. Yeah. So Michael, so Claudio would film. He was the producer of this movie. My friend's dad. Uh, they would shoot one uh, take in French. They would redo it. In English, same same everything. So you're watching two versions of a movie where it's not the same take and they're dubbing. They're just acting in another language. I love it. I want to yeah. take it one step further. What I want to do is I want to shoot a show that's here and it's just like the way everyday life is. So you just you flip, switch flip, some flip, flip, people, you speak yeah. French, people, you yeah. speak English, and then the subtitles work the same way. Correct. They work the same way. They, so for example, yes. if you're watching 
it in English. They sw- yes. They subtitle. You can subtitle everything, but they'll always subtitle the French. But if you're watching in French, they'll always subtitle the English. That is brilliant. That is taking that to the next level. Absolutely great idea. Because a lot of people, if there's somebody watching this who's not from Montreal, it is not uncommon here to speak three languages in the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Three languages, not even two, three. Yeah. Uh, and hearing a fourth language in the background. Yeah. This guy's speaking Arabic over there. You're speaking Greek on the phone to your mother. This guy's speaking French to me, and I'm speaking English to you. Yeah, the, the laws that uh, they passed last week are so draconian and insane. The Bill 96 thing, I, I don't understand. I, I think people are suing now. I think there's some uh, uh, cities in Montreal, like the mini cities, like uh, yeah. towns that are uh, getting oh, a class action Coach lawsuit. Saint Luke. Coach Saint- he, uh, basically, there was a warning on some sites. I got screenshots from uh, listeners. You go to a site and it goes, if you're from here, you have to agree that you're being honest. You're only allowed to read the site because it's in English if you're a historic angle in Montreal. So a French person, I'm not a historic Anglo, I'm a historic Greek, I'm not allowed to read it. A French, You're going to tell me what the fuck, if I want to learn Japanese tomorrow and read a Japanese site, I will fucking do it regardless how, what, of what, how uh, François Legault feels about what is it. A, what does a historic Anglo mean? Uh, there's a, some of them that have been here for generations, like they're historic, like this is your, your like part te- of the, te- his, the heritage of Montreal. Bird. Ted Bird, probably, yeah, stuff like that. People in Point Claire, yeah, um, Hudson Village. Yeah, uh, it shouldn't matter whether you're historic or not. You can read it. It's a free fucking world. I'll read whatever the fuck so I want. I'm, in I'm wh- a, I'll read in Swahili, bro. I'm a, I'm part of I'm Italian, but no, I you're remember, not historic angle. I remember in nineteen. You went to French school, no? No, uh, in 1983. Exactly, we're going in the same direction. I still have this. In 1983, uh, the I have a paper from the Gouvernement de Quebec allowing me to go to English school because of this, whatever law yeah, was there. Because yeah. immigrant kid had to go to French school. Yeah, then, so yeah. so I, I got my mother signed something or because my mother wasn't a citizen yet, she was, I don't know. And I ended up, because a lot of people were scared. They thought that the future was going to be English because that's where they were headed. And then, which is why, because I'm exactly... Well, the future of the world was in English. I'm exactly the age. Now the future Chinese. I'm exactly that hey. age of when this whole separation thing started to happen and the yeah. exodus to Toronto happened. So my parents were worried about uh, me not learning English, whatever, they were... Yeah. yeah. So there's a, there's a very small minority of us. You are part of them, because you, you in your everyday life speak a lot of English, but you speak French a lot better than I do. We went to the Roman Catholic School Commission of Montreal. We had French once a day for 45 minutes. I was introduced to a Becherel grammar book in high school, and I went to a high school with Anglo-Jews. So imagine the limited French. That they I, have. They have, and I, and I had at the time. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't not, be that way. It should be perfectly bilingual. If you're living in yeah, Quebec, absolutely. you should learn both languages. And one because it's Quebec's language, French, and the other one because it's yeah. international. It's English. A future Canadian prime minister, and it's Canadian. Gianni Grasso, is uh, going to a bilingual school. Absolutely. Why? Let me ask you. Why uh, am I making him prime minister? Like, why First, do you need? Like, you're already <laughs> Italian. Why do you need the next generation to be yeah, an organized no, no. crime? I, it was the f- like. <laughs> it was the first thing that came to mind. I could have said future uh, scientist. Uh, yeah. Future uh, captain of the Enterprise, uh, Johnny Grasso. Speaking of the mafia, some families do they keep it in, like they're all successful? What like you ever see entertainment families that they're all in entertainment but they're all successful? The Wayans brothers. I was thinking the Wayans also. Uh, the Pauls. Uh, the Pauls. Yeah, the Logan. I, what is it? What's his Jake, name? Logan, and Rue. All three are uh, Wilson, successful. W- Wilson. Owen. That's fucking crazy, episode. Yeah. Yeah, you have three brothers. You're three brothers too. You guys got to do what the lo- the Pauls do, or or like I was, the, or you like, know, I've been thinking about that for the longest time. Who's your favorite from the three Pauls? Uh, I despise them all. Um, I would say the one that started Prime. He's a That's Logan man. Paul. Wow, well, smart that one. I like the guy fighting. Uh, you like uh, RuPaul, Ru- and I like <laughs> Jake Paul. <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm. You better work. Uh, uh, Oh, he, I was uh, I was going in that direction. You fucking threw me off with the RuPaul one. I was, what the hell were you just the talking about? The third brother. Oh, another's... Um, so wait, there's three of them? I never hear about the third one. There's yeah, you do. what are you talking about? RuPaul? <laughs> you, you always hear about RuPaul. Are you joking? That's so funny. That, <laughs> Why are you laughing? That, that came out of left field. That's great. Oh, oh you got shit, the Baldwins. You're the hilarious. One. 
Why are you typing Jake Paul? Just type in RuPaul. And uh, Logan Paul. It's oh, two he, brothers, bro. He's, he had to oh, type in RuPaul. <laughs> he had to double check the third brother, RuPaul, and he's laughing yeah. at RuPaul. He still doesn't know who RuPaul is. I do know. Well, then <laughs> why did you type it? No, that's not. That's that looks like that's awful. Get him in drag. Ah, you're hilarious. But go to image drag. Oh, uh, hold on, bro. Oh, hold he's on. hurting. The brothers, Paul. These are the two brothers, the brothers and Paul. this is the third brother. <laughs> but yeah. not that. That he looks like he has cancer. There, go to the image. Oh uh, shit! RuPaul is a fucking billionaire, Fuck, bro. That's it. The second one. <laughs> that's that's RuPaul. How is RuPaul not no, successful? No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying yeah, he's the, not successful. The, yeah, but the only images you were getting. I are think the, RuPaul might be a billionaire. Correct. He was the first uh, um, black billionaire. Well, no, you had <laughs> Oprah. You had Oprah. You had. Uh, no, no, I'm not saying he's not successful, but uh, hey, it looks good with a mustache here. Dude, mustache has changed a lot. Let me go click on the mustache one. Looks oh, more manly. Oh yeah. fuck yeah, he does look cool. Yeah. You know who? You know who? I, it occurred to me has had a mustache. Fuck, it does. My look cool. my whole better life. with a mustache. Yeah. You know who has had a mustache my whole life? Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Have you ever not seen? That's because he has the pencil mustache. I, I like, no, it, but, but I, you know me. He's my. No, I love Eddie. My idol. Yeah, he's good. But I've I cannot think of unless he's in like makeup in a movie. I've never seen Eddie Murphy without mu type in Eddie Murphy without mustache, and he also has that thing under there. Hold on, the, the pinch. The pinch. Yeah, yeah. he he he'll, uh, he'll never see him. This, just looking at photos of Eddie Murphy makes me happy. Yeah, he's got a very. Um, it's a bit gay, but okay. he'll win a. Uh, oh, I'm gay for Murphy. He'll bro. win an hey. Oscar at some point. In his career, he'll get it. I don't know. He'll. Um, bro, I watch stuff just because I watched that new movie with. Um, uh, sure, eh? Schultz never, was in it for a bit, but it's uh, it, it was it's a, true. He it was never a movie, doesn't have a mustache. I watched it just for him. He always has a mustache. That's what I mean when I say that. He's never Nick not, Offerman doesn't always have a mustache. He's never yeah, not correct. Had That's the what mustache. I mean. Like like I've seen Tom Selleck without a mustache, and he's an which is crazy. Mustache. Tom Selleck should always I've have a mustache. I've seen Burt. Yeah, you're right. I've seen Burt Reynolds Burt should Reynolds. always have a mustache. I've seen him without a mustache. It's fine. oh my god. But Eddie, you will never find Eddie he's without never, a mustache. Yeah, you can't even find a picture. Maybe maybe you'll find him there. In the, when he was a kid on the Saturday Night Live in the news, he's doing the news. That, Maybe no, there. no, no, but I'm talking about Quick. like. Yeah, I see him. I'm going to find and you. And there's Eddie. still a little bit of hair. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find you, Eddie Murphy, without a mustache right now. I there's just remember. There's no way. There's no the Dude, okay. the, none of the pictures have Type him. in this Eddie Murphy, Cassius Clay. Oh. Eddie Murphy, Cassius Clay. No, he had a mustache. First one. Oh, uh, that was a really long time ago, though. Wow. That's we didn't even have color. Now, that is that makeup hair. covering his mustache, or does he not have a mustache? He just doesn't have a mustache. That's a weird thing to be hung up on. Eddie Murphy's mustache? Yeah. It's, it's true, but, uh, dude, I'm baffled by this. It's, it's, why are you baffled by it's, this? It's, it's, um, because he, he never shaved it. It's like, well, he did. He used to not have a mustache. You saw, you saw a yeah, but he photo was, of him. He was 18, I mean, like, 18 years old. In public pictures, yeah. and either if he did shave, that means he did, he wasn't in public when he would shave. Yeah, but like, let's let say, for example, back. me. Ever since I grew out the beard normally, yeah. I've always had a beard. It's like... Um, um, you make an accent. Yeah, but yeah, I see what you mean. I'm just retarded. He has a very laid-back life now. Agreed. He's a very different. Um, <laughs> he, he's uh, Who was it that was saying... He went out. I, I was listening, maybe on Rogan or something, where they said they went to hang out at Eddie Murphy's house. Oh man! And uh, it's exactly what you think it would be. Uh, Arsenio answers the door, <laughs> and Eddie and Arsenio are la are watching YouTube videos and laughing. I, and I don't know if it was Russell Peters or Dave Chappelle or somebody who told that story of who's going. Arsenio. Arsenio is the other. You know who Arsenio Hall is? Eddie Murphy's best God friend. Damn it, man. Uh. uh the guy in Coming to America, Arsenio, man, he was a black letterman. He had the better late night oh, show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, Macho Man on Arsenio Hall. Yes, if you yes. Wanna, if you want to bring it back full circle, Macho Man on Arsenio Hall. <laughs> that's great. And that's where Hulk Hogan had. Arsenio used to have a lot of wrestlers on. Wrestlers, yeah. Yeah. That's when it was the Hogan, it was the steroid mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Hogan steroid stuff. I've seen uh, um, Bill Clinton with a saxophone. Oh, yeah, Bill Clinton. He's, he's uh, his butler in uh, Coming to America. Yeah. Yeah, Not his, yeah butler, his, his, his valet. You know I mean. I guess, Homeboy. Yeah. His, his, yeah, in, his, yeah. Some people say his, uh, his gay lover. In the movie? In life. No, no, he's not. Gay. No, no, I'm saying there are. There's a whole cult of people that 
say that. That's shit. what people that, say about uh, say the, and I. The, the DL, the down low people. Uh, that's what blacks. I say about us. Dude. I'm yeah. gonna start the rumor. No one goes with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the the outfit I want you to wear when you when you're Macho Man. Is the outfit he's wearing right here? There's different versions of. Uh, there was Macho King where he has the <laughs> King of the Ring. <laughs> he won King of the Ring. No, uh, so he kind of. They kind of look alike. They kind of look like brothers. Eddie Murphy and Arsene. Dude, uh, uh, the, uh, that's a weird thing Har to say. Harlem, Not like that, dog. Harlem, Yo, they look like brothers. <laughs> Eddie Murphy produced a very iconic black movie called... Could you imagine walking around yeah. everyday life like this that? This is what you got to wear. This is <laughs> different version of this. This is the... Do you want to listen to it a bit? Yeah. No, no, I have seen it. Yeah, you've seen, we've seen it. Just I mean, the outfit. The look at the... <laughs> he's chapped Look at the right outfit. Now. Yeah. He had just won the tournament. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm just here on Arsenio. You know Macho Man put out a rap album. Oh, I know. He Did you know there's a video online? Macho Man meeting 50 Cent. It's real? Yeah, yeah, no, real, cool. real. When they met backstage at a music festival, it was fucking awesome to see these two connect. You feel like the world was just going to blow up. He really li liked, he wasn't, it wasn't a, like a Joe Pesci. A he and, really 50, liked and 50 liked meeting him too. He was very excited to meet him. Yeah, there you go. It's really cool. Of course, 50 Cent's my age. Um... 50 Cent is in Expendables 4, by the look, way. Look at how he would dress at that point. Yeah, like this a, is towards like the end of Like a gay biker. His, yeah, you're right. You're right. He does look like a gay biker. It's too polished. Yeah. 50 Cent meets the Macho Man Randy Savage. I, I would do this that. This is so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. This is so absurd. I love it. Yeah. This is two worlds colliding. It's yeah. like meeting Big Bird in some ways, or Mickey Mouse. Yeah. This is how you end racism. By or this video, I don't know why this has anything to do with racism. Macho Man was never uh, known for racism. You know what I'd want to? I know. I'd want to buy. I'd want to buy Macho Man's um, baseball card. There's a baseball card where it's him. Really? Because he was a baseball player. I didn't know that. Yeah, he got a. He, he was Randy. He, yeah. Type in Randy Poffo baseball card. P O F F O Randy Poffo baseball card. Um, how much is it worth? I don't know. He played for the Cincinnati Reds. Oh, bro, That's crazy. <laughs> That's, That's crazy, bro. bro. Oh, yeah. Was he any good? Well. How much is it worth? Check on eBay. What's it going for? 22 $22. Bucks. Cardinals. Oh, no, that's not. Okay, but it has yeah. to be the, you know, a color one. Uh, a, a, uh, oh, this one's going for 8400 Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a real one, probably. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that's not him. They're all right. That looks like him. Yeah, Randy Poffel, Matchman Savage. <sighs> Leaf sketch Ooh, only powerful card. Card. card ever okay, made. Okay, but oh, what year? Like maybe this was, oh, 18 people are watching it. I think this is the legit one. Yeah, it's got a 9.5 rating. Yeah, that yeah. Means it's there you go. That's God damn. Oh, you could change by uh, sold. You could filter the sold. Uh, I would. Completed items are sold uh, filter. I mean, if you have the money and you're a super fan, uh, I, I could see people getting it. Absolutely. I've seen people buy the first McFarlane. McFarlane bought the baseball, the uh, Bill, uh, not the Bill Buckner. Bill Buckner? The one that he missed? Through his legs? No, that's uh, no the the who's the one? Kurt Schilling? No, it's it's big. the guy who got it. Uh, the bloody sock. The pitcher. He he lost all his money investing in a baseball game. But I he, big uh, big baseball player. McF he bought the ball. Some you talking about Dykstra? No, Lenny Dykstra. No, the uh, uh, the the guy who anyway. That is fucking speaking nuts of uh, that Dykstra, is. Artie Lang. Uh, I saw. On my feed. He oh. works at a gas station. He did. Okay. Work at a gas station because he had to. Recently. If he's working again at a gas station, good for him. He, uh, uh, Pat Cooper passed away. Pat Cooper is my only, you know, I do um, uh, WAP comedy and uh, uh, <laughs> attempting English comedy. Uh, Pat Cooper is the, the first Manus Galco. The first, the oh, the Italian that was in with the Catskill Jews, Pat Cooper, the great Pat Cooper, who was also exactly my gener my generation in the states in his years. Okay, he spoke Italian to his parents, like I, you know, I, yeah. and uh, and and English to everybody else, and was in with the Friars Club. And Pat Cooper died. The guy who gives Jerry the Friars Club episode. Well, you know what? R.I.P. And and if you want to uh, laugh at some good old fashioned Pat Cooper uh, as a podcast guest, him on Opie and Anthony a couple of years ago was a couple of years great. ago. Yeah, Opie and Anthony was not a couple of years when ago. When was Opie and Anthony? A lot of years ago. Okay. When was the last time they were together on o a show? Opie and Anthony. Yeah. When did Anthony get fired? 
2016, 15. Okay, so Pat Cooper around then. Yeah, that's a, almost a decade ago. Okay, I mean, because he's 95 no, and he's saying. been doing comedy for... So the, of the most recent yeah. ones, that's what I meant to say. Of the most recent uh, guests of uh, on Opie and Anthony when the show was still around. Hey, what was the year? Can you see, uh, type in when did Kumia get fired? Yeah, because I remember either another... another there was Norton, but then there was a fourth, or it was a Colin Quinn, or it was a uh, 2014. Jesus Christ, yeah. bro! It's been forever. So, or ten it, years ago, or it was Colin Quinn, but there was a fourth too, or it was Geraldo or somebody. Uh, oh, I heard a quick clip of Bob Kelly on as a guest on Anthony uh, recently. Recently, yeah. recently. Uh, first of all, Bob sits in the chair, come in and breaks the chair, so they do the whole fat stuff. But then Bob just lays into him and says, man, look at us. Look at us here. I did a show uh, with, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a club with 80 people the other day, and, and Rogan's crew is out there uh, flying, all because you had to go take pictures in Times Square. He says, we could have been that. Holy shit, he looked like that? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's He's, he literally, it was so funny. He called him out on it. He said, you motherfucker, you had to go do that. And Anthony still defending, still can't say, yeah, I fucked up. Basically, what I mean, like Anthony's yeah. still pressing on the whole black thing, the whole like he's still defending that she was a bitch. She was like, you have. She was a bitch, but, know, his, but it wasn't that. That's the argument. The argument is the stuff he said on Twitter. And then the yeah. uh, but uh, Bob went in a therapy thing, yeah. saying, "But you still haven't worked it out. You could still uh, blah 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 blah." It was uh, it was very funny, but the way he called him, you know how Bob Kelly talks. The way Widow he, Grasso Jr. Yeah. Links are in the description. We got the intellectuals every week, Thursdays, alongside Poseidon, patreon.com slash pantelis. Thank you.